doubling your yokogare alias red red get a ripe plantain not just ripe when you use just ripe you don't get that crispy and soft cocoa so you get the plantain a bit ripe so now i've got my plantain I just I wash it already and then I use my knife to mark it you see it's right plantain not too soft and not just right so you use your knife to slice it slice it up I sprinkle a salt on the slice plantain then i taste it yeah the salt is okay so now my oil is hot i'm going to deep fry it my oil is hot so i'll just be careful so that you don't burn your salt put it in the oil and deep fry it The yokogari, I'm going to cook two cups of black eye beans. It depends on the quantity you want. You can cook one, two, three, four. Any quantity you want. So what I'm going to do is wash the black eye beans nicely. Cook it on a hob. It takes about one hour to one and a half hour to get ready. So it's nice and soft to be eaten with the Yokogari is eaten with palm oil. So I'm going to spice my palm oil up a little bit. As you see, I pour it on my frying pan. Then I put in a slice of onion. So I'm going to fry this just to give the oil taste. That's all. My palm oil is ready. The oil is cooked. I don't want to burn it. I just want the flavor of the onion in the oil. That's why I cook it. It's ready. This is my red black eye beans. The yolk. It's very soft now. You can see. And the sauce on it is a bit thick. So it's ready to be eaten. So all you need to do is just add salt to taste. Make sure you taste it. Making sure that you get the taste that you want. Yeah, the salt is okay with me now. So you serve it. And that's how your this is how your cadaver is eating. Give your beans, add your cocoa, your fried plantain, your garlic, your cadaver, and then of course your palm oil. I've 
started enjoying my yokogari alias red red. It's so tasty. Enjoy. Enjoy.